Hey guys, my name is Jason Lacine. My wife and I are building a home and we're installing the Midwest's first Tesla solar glass roof. And uh, today is day four. We made a lot of progress. We just about wrapped up one of the rear slopes and they're putting the finishing touches on one of the front gables. I wanted to answer one of your questions. A lot of you guys have, have asked how much the roof costs. And that's a great question. It's going to be different for every every home, depending on the type of the roof, the size of the roof, stuff like that. Um, there are some things that you can do to help bring the cost down. And number one, it's going to be cheaper for a brand new roof rather than a replacement. Because whenever it's a replacement, you have to worry about all the tear off and, and stuff like that. But when you're building a, a brand new home and it's a brand new install, Something that we did is we thought ahead and we, we planned for this to be a Tesla roof home. And we put all the venting, instead of going through the roof, we made it going through the gable, through one of the, the sides of the home. So on my home, there are zero roof protrusions, which saves a ton of time. Whenever there is a, a vent pipe going through the roof, it actually creates a lot of complications for the Tesla roof. Uh, first off, the PV tiles have to stop before they get there, so you're gonna lose quite a bit of solar production from that one slope. But then also, it takes quite a bit of labor to uh, put the boot on, but then adjust the tiles all the way around the boot. So I think between both sides of our home, we have roughly, I think it's about 12 to 14 different vents or pipes coming out. Uh, but again, zero through the roof, which uh, Lettiger Roofing, who is installing the roof, they loved it and it's gonna end up saving me a ton of money. So that's it for today. Uh, we will talk to you again soon.